Oui, bonjour. Uh, I am Jean Valjean Raymond, <laughs> not really. And also today I am going to do the uh, uh, Hollywood uh, report for you because uh, today I am in Hollywood. <laughs> Actually, I live in Hollywood, so you know it is good like that. But uh, I live uh, in Hollywood, and uh, so I thought to today I would do a report for you of a Hollywood report. And uh, because uh, there is a lot of thing going on in the news, mostly I think about Tom Cruise and uh, Katie Holm who uh, apparently have decided to uh, split and get a divorce, which, uh, you know, is, uh, well, of course, sad and uh, unfortunate for that, but, you know, I'm not sure uh, I know all of the detail of this, but every time I go to the store, you know, I look at the magazine, and every magazine I look at uh, has uh, Tom and Katie on the cover, and uh, it's amazing to me because there are so many things going on in the news, you know, and different people and uh, news item and, and uh, you know, Middle East conflict and all this. But every time I look, I see Tom and Katie looking, uh, always looking a little bit upset, I think, because they have their picture taken. They don't want that. Uh, I don't take their picture because I don't. Usually the camera is right here where you see I film this for you. But uh, now I was wondering, you know, everybody seems so interested in this. And uh, uh, I know, you know, Tom Cruise is a big movie star. I'm not sure what uh, Katie Holm uh, does. Uh, I can't uh, tell you a movie I've seen her in, but maybe I've seen it and don't know. But it's not somebody that I am that uh, well known. But Tom Cruise, uh, of course, has uh, been in Mission Impossible and also uh, 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 I saw Risky Business, which I like very much. As well. Rebecca de Mornay is very sexy and also somewhat, I think, a little French with that name, right? De Mornay has got to be a little French. And, uh, you know, I went to a party one time, not too far from here in Hollywood, a party at uh, a person's house. I don't remember who gave the party, but I, I was standing there holding a drink, and Rebecca Mornay uh, passed me by, and we have a moment. You know, I smiled at her, and she smiled at me, and she got uh, hello, and I said, well, hello. And then, you know, uh, uncharacteristically for me, I got nervous, and I did not know, because she was very pretty, and... Uh, it did not work out into a date, but uh, I was very happy to meet her. And then I stood, the rest of the party was fine, you know, they had the music and uh, uh, they play a lot of uh, Ingo Boingo music at that party, which I thought was strange, but, uh, you know, some people like this, so it's good for that. And uh, so anyway, uh, I but Tom Cruise was not at this party, and I don't think Katie Holm too, because I would not know. If I saw Katie Holm at the party, I don't think I would recognize her, because she's not somebody I've seen in a lot of movies, like I said. But Tom Cruise, uh, yes, I think maybe, except sometimes he grow a beard, you know, and uh, uh, I don't know whether... The, the thing about the uh, divorce for them is that uh, apparently... Uh, she, uh, they have the baby, and you know, in the beginning, they put the scarf over the baby's face, uh, which I thought was strange because you know, when you have a baby, nobody knows what the baby looks like because all babies tend to look the same. I mean, if you see a baby here and a baby there, very hard to say, oh, that is definitely the Tom Cruise baby. But they were worried about this, so they put the scarf over the head. Then, now, later on, when the g little girl will grow up and she look uh, definitely like a young girl and you can see what she looked like they take the scarf off and of course you can see her so I'm not sure what they were doing because also Michael Jackson did this uh, put the scarf over the heads of uh, their baby and uh, I think it is just something they do in Hollywood uh, maybe because they like the scarves and they are pretty or something I don't know because I think if you grow up with a scarf over your head when you are a baby eventually you have to go to a psychiatrist and uh, talk about how you worry about the walls closing in and things like that but um, uh, so what I was reading in the magazine that I saw was that uh, uh, Katie Holm was worried that Tom Cruise was going to, uh, because he is in the Church of the Scientologists, you know, and she did not want the uh, baby to be uh, in the Church with the Scientologists, which, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure about this. I don't know a lot about uh, the Scientology, except that because I live in Hollywood, uh, there seem to be uh, people all over the place who have the Scientology 
Bergerie. Uh, when I go down to the Hollywood Boulevard to walk around, you know, uh, they have the people sitting there and they have uh, the machine. And uh, on the machine they have the two uh, metal cans. And these cans look like uh, something you would get, you know, petit bras, the peas in, you know, and but they without the paper around it, it is two cans. And they tell you if you sit down and you can hold these cans, and it will tell you if you have uh, the aliens inside of you. And uh, I, I would already know if I had alien inside of me because I would feel it. I mean, even when I have a little gas after eating too much cheese or something like that, or uh, air, you know, too much souffle with the air bubbles in that, you know, I get a, a little bit of the uh, gas and I can feel it, so certainly if I had alien inside of me, I would feel this, so I would not need to hold on to these cans, but they say, you know, you hold this and then we tell you and you have the alien and then we can fix this for you and take out the alien and then you will be happy and you'll be part of this and you join our church. But uh, I don't know, you know, I go to church when I was a little boy and uh, we had the Bible and the uh, prayer book and sing the songs and kneel down and say amen and all that but we they did not hold the cans and I'm not sure what this is I, I think uh, maybe it's not quite so much a church as a way to get your money quite frankly so but of course Tom Cruise has a lot of money and if he wants to hold the cans and give them his money uh, that is all fine but I understand why you would not want your baby to you know, be around the cans and, and have to do that and, and then say you have the alien when she goes I don't have alien. Actually, you know, most children are like alien because I, I have friends of mine have children and sometimes I think they come down from a UFO too. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm not sure why. But anyway, Tom Cruise now can go out and uh, have a wild and crazy party in Hollywood and Katie Holmes can raise the baby. And, uh, you know, I think what she needs is a better agent or a, a public relation person to, uh, oh, I heard a noise, I don't know what, uh, to make her a little more famous, because like I said, I can't tell you any movie that I see her in, but I'm sure I have, and they, they are on the television, so there it is. But uh, uh, anyway, so she will have the baby, and Tom Cruise will have the cans, and uh, probably just make a lot more movie. Uh, you know, there is so much more to tell you about uh, people getting divorced and uh, Hollywood and uh, religion and cans and all that, but I'm running a little bit out of time, so for today I'm going to say au revoir, and uh, next time, hopefully, I will cover, I want to talk about the Batman the movie coming out, the, the uh, night... Uh, the Night Noir, a marvelous new movie coming out and everybody is already buying the ticket and I think I'll do a review of this because it was, uh, it's going to be uh, spectacular and they say make so much money that uh, really I think sometimes the Hollywood people should just take the money because they make so much and just give it to people who live in Hollywood. I could use a few dollars if you know what I'm saying, especially if you tuned in to one of my reports from before. Uh, I had the stock market and uh, all my stock went into the gutter, so now I, I am uh, hopefully going to get sponsor for this show and you will uh, give me your potato chip and cola and I will have a commercial for you and that way because I think Steven Spielberg and Bill Gates and all those people should uh, put up a fund so he can get a few dollars because I know they make so much money that it is crazy and uh, meanwhile I'm sitting here with uh, I need a better camera maybe you can tell this is not too bad I think I look okay man by the way you notice I changed my hair color uh, but because uh, before it was a little bit invisible, some people say they can't even see my hair at all. So I make it darker for you and now hopefully I look more like a movie star myself. And by the way, you people making movie, I am available. So please call me on the phone or actually there will be website uh, web address for you. So uh, that is all and I am Jean Valjean Raymond and <laughs> not really saying au revoir et bonne chance. Merci.